My name is Kiati. I'm head of Joshi Advocates. Thank you very much for joining us in this video. British nationality application has been refused. Uh, what to do next? So in the next five minutes, we will run through three options available to you with the help of our bell, because this is our birthday video. So let the celebrations begin. The first option is apply for reconsideration. So Home Office, say, refuses British nationality uh, and uh, would give you the option to seek reconsideration where one caseworker looks at another caseworker's decision. Uh, but the reconsideration can only be on two bases. One, uh, the Home Office caseworker did not consider all the documentary evidence which was provided with the application uh, submitted. And two, uh, the Home Office caseworker has made an error in law. Uh, so you must identify which law, which policy, and where the error is. Uh, so that's one. Uh, if refused, what do you do? That's the second option. Uh, you may apply for permission to judicial review. Now, judicial review is a topic on its own and it requires a lot more detail than what I'm about to give you. But it's safe to say that when you challenge the Home Office decision by way of judicial review, it's an application you are submitting in, in this case for nationality, in the admin court. Uh, the court fee 154. What you are asking the judge there to do is to, uh, you are challenging uh, the Home Office decision's legality. Uh, but uh, judicial reviews uh, are not to be taken lightly because if uh, the application is refused, there is a cost implication, which means you would have to end up paying the other side Home Office lawyer's costs. And when you submit the application for permission to judicial review, it's on a very uh, nuanced uh, point of law, precisely exactly what the error is uh, and identifying uh, relation to your uh, facts of the case and uh, the situation. Uh, but just note that when it comes to nationality, Home Office has a huge amount of discretion. Uh, so, for instance, uh, if the Home Office says, oh, uh, there was a conviction at a certain amount, a certain uh, period of time, therefore we are not going to go ahead and give you nationality uh, based on the good character policy, uh, would you uh, apply for judicial review? No, uh, because it's fair to say, but of course that's, this is not legal advice. Uh, <laughs> it's just an example. So, uh, where the Home Office policy allows discretion, which is the caseworker's choice of whether to give it to you or not, uh, you can't really challenge it um, unless uh, there is a particular point relevant to your case you've identified as an example. So that's the uh, JR. Now three, it's very rare. I think we're going rarer and rarer. So the rarest is um, where an application is refused for British nationality on public security grounds. Uh, there is a right of appeal in the Special Immigration Appeals Commission. Uh, shorten for SIAC. Uh, those appeals are only being submitted uh, in a particular way and um, challenging on the basis of uh, national security. Now, it's not offered to everyone, it's only in particular kind of cases. So if that's relevant to you, note that the procedure uh, and the costs are different from uh, the usual immigration appeal. Uh, the cost uh, for SIAC is 372. The cost on normal appeal court fee is 140. Uh, the procedure is very different in how to submit the documents, how to conduct the hearing. So just uh, bear uh, with your legal advisor when it comes to uh, this aspect. Now, that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, those are the three options. Uh, as always, uh, contact details below, uh, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Take care.